the Taiwanese HSR versus the Japanese Shinkansen. Which one is better? Now, some of you train nerds out there might be telling me, Prozzi, they're the same thing. The Japanese built the Taiwanese HSR system, and you're right. And that's why today we're actually going to be testing Taiwanese HSR versus Japanese Shinkansen business class edition version beta. While yes, the Taiwanese HSR is a Japanese train, what they do with the insides is different and up to each individual company. So I decided to start my test right here in Taiwan. Just got to the HSR station. My train leaves in like 10 minutes. I'm really pushing this. Took the HSR from Taichung in the city where I live to Taoyuan. Here's what it looks like. Pretty swanky. It's white with that classic orange line going across the side of it. You'll see it pretty much all over in Taiwan. Everyone knows what this looks like. It's kind of iconic. And here is what the Japanese Shinkansen looks like. A little bit different. It's got a funny nose. My buddy Kiwi, who's well into trains, told me why. I don't really care about trains, so I forget. But it's kind of fun that, you know, it's a different color. Walking inside the Taiwanese HSR, you can see that the cabin is very different from the regular economy class. It's got this kind of maroon colored plush seats. Quite nice kind of retro, kind of reminds me of something out of like the 60s or 70s. Whereas the Japanese Shinkansen had a little bit more of a modern decor with these wooden walls and red kind of carpets that sort of look like the same color as the Taiwanese HSR seats. The Taiwanese HSR does have overhead baggage, a bit like a regular train would, but the Japanese one goes a step further and adds overhead baggage like on an airplane, which I thought was very fancy. This is really nice. I'm the only one in this train car. I don't have to be quiet, like on a Taiwanese train. And it left so fast. If you are even a second late for the Shinkansen in Japan, you are missing your train. The door opens, you get on, and like less than 60 seconds later, train leaves. And I gotta say, it is much swankier in here than a Taiwanese business class. It doesn't come with anything extra. Seats are bigger, and they're more plush, and they look very futuristic, whereas the ones in Taiwan looked a little bit old-fashioned. I don't know what this button does. Did I do that? Almost as soon as I sat down on the Taiwanese HSR, a lady came and gave me some snacks, which was really interesting because the Japanese one so far didn't have that. I got these red Chinoa Mille I don't know what these are. Basically like little biscuits or crackers and even a Taiwan high-speed rail labeled wet nap. Very exciting. As I left Taichung City behind, I could see that these seats were very comfortable because the person next to me fell asleep pretty much immediately as soon as his head hit the chair. It is so quiet on this train. It's crazy. And it looks like if you get one of these seats where you have to sit beside someone, there's like a little glass divider, which is really nice. And the other thing to notice about both the HSR in Taiwan and the Shinkansen in Japan is that these cabins, these business class cabins, are extremely quiet, but the interior of this one is really nice. I do have to interrupt this video for a public safety announcement. You see, when I'm using the Shinkansen or the Taiwan HSR, they have free public Wi-Fi going like a billion miles an hour. It's pretty cool. But I wanted to keep myself safe while riding the Shinkansen or the HSR using any public Wi-Fi access. But there's one big problem with using public Wi-Fi. There could be someone out there trying to collect my data through the public Wi-Fi system, which is not secure. Thanks to today's video sponsor, NordVPN, I could keep myself very safe. I use NordVPN and that means my data is encrypted. That means that no one can come and try and steal my data and sell it online or do whatever nefarious things they want to do with it. There's all kinds of ways that NordVPN can help you. I sometimes use NordVPN to watch shows on streaming platforms that might only be available in certain countries. But for this trip, it was fantastic to have to keep me safe while I was browsing the web. Right now, if you go to nordvpn.com forward slash prozzy, that's N-O-R-D-V-P-N.com forward slash prozzy, you can get a mega huge discount on a two-year plan. 
I know what you're thinking, Prozzi. Can you sweeten the deal a little bit for me? Sure can. How about on top of that huge mega deal on a two-year plan, you get four months completely free of charge. And I know what you're thinking, but I don't know it's a two-year plan. Do I commit to that? NordVPN has got your back. It also comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, guys. So again, go check out nordvpn.com forward slash Prozzi. Use my code Prozzi. Get a huge discount. Four months completely free. Sign up. The link is in the description down below. Just click it and join me in thanking them, NordVPN, for making this video possible. So thank you, Nord. Go check them out, guys. Make sure that you're safe and secure while browsing the internet. Not only do they come and give you snacks on the Taiwanese HSR, they also give you coffee, which was amazing, because I hadn't had a coffee yet, and I need my coffee. It came hot and pretty quick, and it's all part of the ticket price. I didn't have to pay for this, you know, separately. The coffee is also Taiwan High Speed Rail labeled. The seat only has two buttons, and it's just to turn the light on above you. Not very exciting. Japanese Shinkansen, however, completely different story. It's got all kinds of buttons. Ooh, I'm crushing my suitcase. But I have like all this leg room. I can lay down. That's really nice. So if you're on this thing for a long time, you can just like lay down and have a sleep. Which like, I understand why the HSR in Taiwan doesn't have it, because you wouldn't be on it for long enough to take a nap. I went a little crazy with the buttons and play with them a lot because they're really fun. The Taiwan High Speed Rail does have two outlets so you can charge computers and stuff like that. It's also got a little switch where you can lower the backrest of your seat. I have to say these seats are much more comfortable than like the regular train. It's nice. It's a good view too. Check out those rice fields. It's so green. You get so much more space too. I even got a footrest. Check this out. time to open up these snacks, these little crackers, these treats that they gave me, and I gotta say they were actually pretty good. I finished the whole bag. They were very addicting. I wouldn't want this, you know, if I was on a diet, but it was nice to have something to snack on while you're on the HSR and watch the countryside views go by. There's something about the Taiwanese HSR system that feels classically elegant. This train doesn't come with a person who walks down the aisle and offers you drinks and snacks or food. That is where a point goes to the Taiwanese HSR because they had someone come and give me coffee and snacks. No food, but they did give me snacks. This one has nothing. So I'm gonna be on this train for a little bit longer, maybe an hour and a half, and I get nothing to eat or drink. So I should have bought something before I got on the train, but the good thing is that it's not super long. This isn't really a fair comparison. I was only on the HSR in Taiwan for like, 36 minutes or something like that whereas I'm on this train for like an hour and a half So there's a time difference there that makes it like not really all that fair The Taiwan HSR system not only gives you snacks and coffee But also a lady comes by with a tray where she takes the trash out for you, which was fantastic service That was when my ride alone ended and someone sat next to me. This guy did however seem to really like his footrest I don't know why. What is this? What does this do? So I get one of these. This is like a full on. Overall, I would say that the Taiwan HSR system or the high speed rail or the Gautia, whatever you want to call it, had way better service. There were people coming, giving me snacks, coffee, taking the trash away. And it felt very like classic, like the colors they use in there are kind of old school and the seats are very plush, like an old sofa. However, the Japanese Shinkansen was a lot more modern, a lot nicer to be in. However, there was no service. So any food or drinks or things like that you wanna buy, you have to do so ahead of time. Also, because Taiwan is a lot smaller than Japan, a lot more people buy business class tickets because the ride probably isn't going to be very long. And that means the actual cabin was a lot busier than the Japanese Shinkansen, which had literally no one in business class except for me. And it's not quite business class. There are different levels on the Japanese Shinkansen you can get. I just so happened to get the top one, which I think was called the Grand Class. In the Taiwanese HSR system, there's only two. There's business class, regular class, and then, you know, a non-reserve seat. That's basically it. So I just went for the top tier 
seats for each of the systems. And overall, it was pretty fun. Would I recommend it? No, <laughs> not really. Taiwan is too small to enjoy business class for longer than like, I don't know, an hour and a half, depending on where you're going. It's nice to get free coffee and snacks and a bigger seat, but you're not gonna be on it for very long, so just save some money and get the regular seat. For the Japanese Shinkansen, it's a bit different. You know, the country is a bit bigger, so you might be on the Shinkansen for a lot longer. And because you can lay down almost flat on those seats, I would kind of recommend business class or grand class or whatever they call it, simply because you can kind of take a nap. However, it was a lot more expensive than the Taiwanese HSR business class. Anyways, that's the difference between business class on the Shinkansen and the Taiwan HSR. No idea who asked for this video, but it was kind of fun to make and I felt like a baller sitting in business class. It's not something I ever do. I always fly economy or take economy seats on trains. I just thought it was kind of a fun comparison. Join me in thanking NordVPN for making this video possible. Make sure you follow the links in the description. Use my code and you get a discount, just like I said earlier in the video. If I've earned it, I would love it for you guys to subscribe to my channel. I make videos a little bit like this every single week. Follow me on Instagram at prosody underscore SR. Stay positive, keep your stick on the ice, and I'll catch you guys next week for another video.